Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So uh, I hope you have checked my previous videos uh, related to Mandhan activities. I already prepared three videos. Now coming to another scenario. This is also related to Mandhan activities and it is related to uh, tax. So whatever the tax are there on uh, purchase or sales, so how we are going to handle with those tax or what are the ta uh, activities are involved when we are going to uh, adjust this tax amount. So before coming to the system, let me give you the idea. So I have taken uh, here one small example to for understanding purpose. Now this one is your uh, vendor invoice and this one is your customer invoice. So that means tax will be there when we are going to purchase anything and tax will be there on selling uh, some items. Or technical language we are saying that it is input tax and in different countries these names are different like somewhere it is VAT, somewhere like in India it is GST. So basically when you are going to purchase anything on that we are going to pay the tax. So for this again in system we have to create the tax procedure, the tax code, all this will be there. Uh, we will not talk about that. So let's say in our, our vendor invoice, so this is your vendor invoice and in this vendor invoice one tax component is there and that amount is your input tax input GST right so it is also known as your paid tax or receivable tax because after some time you will know why it is known as your receivable tax so here vendor credited and uh, the GRIR account debited and input tax account debited here so obviously this particular vendor invoice generated with reference to our original logistic vendor invoice and we will see that in the system also now coming to uh, customer invoice so in customer invoice when we are going to sell something so customer is going to debit like in this case it is this amount the revenue is going to credit and your output tax output VAT output GST anything you can say so that is going to credit so it is known as your payable tax no user is going to calculate in tax system is going to calculate the tax as per the configuration so this will be your payable tax or output tax now whenever we are manufacturing anything so let's say i'm manufacturing this paint so for that purpose we need to purchase all the required raw materials or whatever it is required then at the time of purchasing the raw material we need to pay the tax like here we have paid the tax of 100 when we have converted this particular pro uh, all these raw materials or any uh, processing materials we have converted and we are selling this particular product on that also we are going to pay the tax so like technically if you'll see here my selling tax or sales tax is 180 but don't you think that this 180 which is our payable tax out of that 180 so what we we purchase the plastic or whatever the material on that already we paid the tax so that particular uh, particular plastic or the raw material we converted into winning stock so now when we are selling so already we paid some tax on the my raw materials or my uh, processing material so that is why whatever we paid already to government so that we are going to deduct it from here so net payable here how much this 80 80 USD 80 and anything you can say that adjustment in month end will be there so when the transaction will be there the tax component will be there but in month end we need to settle your input tax with your output tax so that is one recurring activities in like in some companies they used to do monthly some companies weekly basis so this need to be there and also it is known as your uh, settlement of your input tax with output tax and VAT credit anything you can say but basically so this is the, this one so whatever the tax already paid that we are going to deduct it from the payable tax so technically as we are going to deduct it so it is known as your receivable tax or paid tax okay so let's check that in the system so here I have extracted uh, some documents for you. You can see this is one document which is, this is my source document. This one is my vendor invoice from the logistic point of view, vendor invoice. And with reference to here some tax code is there, the tax calculation, all these configurations are there. Because of that, I got here one integrated document and this one is my vendor invoice accounting point of view. And this one is my logistic one. So in this document, you can see multiple line entries are there. Of course, uh, this is uh, other items like here some uh, because of material ledger, some purchase difference is there. You may ignore this one right now. It is not point of our discussion. So the last line, if you'll see here some payable, uh, sorry, paid tax is there, which is 52 INR here, right? So this amount is in future, we are going to settle from our sales tax. So this is our paid tax, this one. So this one, one is your paid tax or input tax, purchase tax, anything you can say. This doc, this line is there in my vendor invoice. Similarly, when we are going to assume that that particular 
raw materials we convert into finished stock and now we are selling something so here also you will find the tax component is there in the logistics so this is my billing document and in the logistic document this doc, uh, this tax amount is there and now this out of that 142 which is also there in my line items this is my customer line item accounting point of view this is my logistic document so technically whatever the tax if we will say let's say we have just purchased that invoice uh, we have one invoice and we have one sales invoice one purchase invoice one sales invoice so technically out of this 142.56 we are going to deduct this 52 that is the meaning of that but in, in reality it will not be one item so in reality we have monthly basis so we will take let's say one month so in one month we have so many transactions are there so that settlement should be there so whatever the amount we have paid already that settlement will be there and it's not like manually we are going to settle so we will run user is going to run the report and accordingly uh, the next activity will be there so that is one month and activities so this scenario i'm going to show you in the system next and you can add this one as one of your month and activities now let's check in the system so for this we have to go to again the tax report Okay, check this one. So I add your company code. So I'm adding here a company code and uh, financial year, execute. Okay, so here you need to give a range, like which month range, which month tax you want to make the payment. So let's take the current month, January. Right, so as per as I have posted different uh, invoices, vendor invoice, customer invoice and all. So here, uh, this is my output tax. So this is my base amount and on this amount, this is your output tax calculated, right? So I know it, the um, codes and also from there I'm getting it. So this is my output tax, sales tax. So sales tax is calculated 141, 14.10. Uh, 1 it is my payable tax and uh, my paid tax already we are paid that means it is your input tax so input tax is 99.50 so that means technically when i will make the payment so technically when i will make the payment to government so i will not pay the 141510 141510 already paid so what is your accounting entry accounting entry is your related to output tax 1415 so it is multiple line entries are there uh, that we will get it once we will go to the particular GL account so there you will get multiple invoices are there so I'm not going to do that a normal customer uh, invoice so where where you have credited your customer you have debited your revenue output tax is also there and how these documents are generated with reference to your outbound delivery as a result of your FISD integration so total tax payable is 141510 and what is the tax paid or how we got these figures this is related to purchase again these documents are output uh, your sorry these documents are your input document FIMM integration so that means when we performed your uh, vendor invoices with reference to uh, purchase order then GR then invoice so with reference to these entries are or this tax amount so it is extraction of your output tax and input tax so technically we are going to pay only 141510 minus 99.50 which already we have paid so that amount we are going to pay so for that purpose we have to post one accounting entry so that net amount it will show and that we are going to deposit with the government so that is the next activity which we are going to do so these are my uh, different GL entries right now already I have shown you in the report and same is there in the my GL report output tax and input tax so this is your input tax purchase tax and this is your output tax now accounting point of view this one having the debit balance so we are going to post a credit entry and that is your uh, tax provision account and this one is having credit entry that we are going to post so that means technically this account need to be right now we have credit entries so this account need to be debit and this account need to be credit then only net adjustment we are going to do so here we are going to post the adjustment entry fb41 select the company code and uh, today is 26 January but I will take here uh, month and date because we are posting this one as our month and activities
So I'm going to post the debit entry because already in my input tax account we have debit entries so that I'm going to post with the adjustment entry. So I'm going to debit one account here will be my tax receivable payable adjustment account. It should be debit. GL means it should be 40. And what is the amount? So already we have in this account debit amounts are there. 9950 that I'm going to credit. Select business area. We can add profit center if profit center is configured. So here I can add the profit center and then we are going to post a credit entry. So here I'm going to post one credit entry, uh, credit entry related to this account because in this account already we have debit entry so that we are going to settle with our output tax so that's why it's a claim from government so we are going to whatever amount we already paid that we are going to de uh, deduct so 99.50 already we paid so that we are going to adjust and this is your account 5009 continue nine nine five zero then output tax so output tax having credit balance so that need to be debited 40 this account five zero one zero continue and what is the amount this is there in the output tax one four one five one zero one four one five one zero then this is your debit entry so credit entry will be tax payable receivable adjustment account Okay, so let me summarize. So what we did when we have the vendor invoice, so that time we have debited our input tax. Now I'm going to credit it 50 by debiting my adjustment account. When we have outbound delivery, so or with sales, with billing document, we have the output tax was there. So that initially is it was credited. Now I'm going to debit sales tax. You can see debit with adjustment account. Save. So this adjustment done. Now finally we are going to make the payment the net amount to the government. So after that again the clearing process will be there. So already video is lengthy. So this one I am going to continue because couple of more scenarios are there. So that I will add in my next video.